So we built our really cool 70 centimeter fox antenna, but we're going to need one more item before we actually do any fox hunting, and that's an attenuator. Why do we need an attenuator? Well, first of all, if you're searching for the fox and let's say you're half a mile away or whatever, you're going to hear some signal variation as you swing the antenna back and forth. As you start to move closer to the fox, the fox signal is going to get stronger. Uh, this arc is going to be less, uh, uh, or actually uh, greater, excuse me. And uh, once we get maybe within 100 feet of the, uh, or more of the fox, uh, the signal is going to be all over the place. You will not be able to figure out which direction the signal is coming from because it's going to be constant throughout. This is a gain antenna, uh, and it's going to get overloaded when we get close. Even if you turn it sideways, even if you turn around and put it behind you, it's still going to get overloaded. So what we do is we put an attenuator on here, we add some attenuation to the signal, and we drop that signal down to a weaker level to where we start getting that deflection again, and we can start searching for the fox. We add maximum uh, attenuation to it, and we can actually get right up into the fox, uh, right on top of it to be able to find it. So attenuator is very important uh, in modern fox hunting. I'm going to show you five different attenuators that I've tested. Uh, I like two of them, and we'll see what, uh, what happens. Okay, let's look at attenuators. I've got five attenuators here and I've tested every one of them. Uh, I've got my favorites, obviously, but uh, we'll certainly talk about that. Uh, there are two types of attenuators. One is a passive attenuator. Uh, it's a resistive network that weakens the power supplied from the source, and that's the most reasonable attenuator. Uh, the offset attenuator generates a four megahertz RF uh, signal and mixes it with the incoming signal to produce a new uh, plus or minus 400 megahertz signal. And um, this, I uh, uh, use it to adjust the injection level of the RF coming in, and uh, they work really, really, really well, but we'll, uh, we'll talk about that. All right, let's uh, get to them. Uh, first one is, uh, these are little SMA uh, attenuators. They come in 30, 20, and 10 dB attenuation. What you would do is uh, you can stack these things. Uh, what we've got here is this is a 30, this is a 20, this is a 10. So we got 60 dBs of attenuation. This is not quite enough attenuation uh, for the antenna uh, I've shown you how to build. Uh, what I suggest is you buy two 30s and a 20. That should give you enough. These are about three bucks each. So for about nine bucks, you'd stick this in your handy talkie here and put your antenna into here and you're uh, ready to go. If you need less attenuation, attenuation you're going to have to remove one of these things. Uh, if you need more, you're going to have to add one. Uh, I would say you would only do this once during a fox hunt, but uh, I haven't tested it at any distance, but these indeed will work. Uh, get these on Amazon uh, for about three bucks. Anywhere else, uh, some of these places are charging ten bucks each for these and that's a rip. Okay, next thing we're going to look at is uh, a little switch attenuator from Bionics. Bionics makes a whole bunch of uh, fox hunt stuff. And uh, it's switch selectable, so you have, uh, oops, actually one of the switches busted off on it. Look at that. All right. Don't know how that happened, but that's not great. Uh, this, uh, I don't necessarily recommend this, just wanted to show it to you. This uh, gives you 30, 20, 10, and 5 dB individual uh, attenuation and you can turn all these on for a total of 65 dBs of attenuation which for what we're doing probably is not going to be enough so uh, and plus the switch broke I'm not happy about that that's uh, not something that's going to be house replaceable so this will uh, probably go in the garbage can but uh, well you could probably move that switch yeah you could move that switch with a paper clip or a pin but uh, it's just not quite enough attenuation next one I'm going to show you uh, is by uh, KC9, KC9ON.com and he makes a bunch of uh, attenuators. This is a kit actually. Uh, I, uh, he just supplies the circuit board. I had to supply the box and the two uh, end connectors. I'm going to open this thing up here for you. I took the screws out of it and uh, this is if you can see it uh, here it was not the easiest to build uh, the box is pretty small. I had to put the battery on the outside. I could have gotten a larger box. It would have been a little easier to build. But uh, this is for the experienced kit builder. 
Uh, the good thing about this is uh, the circuit board with all the parts except for the end connectors, the battery holder and the battery is 10 bucks. So you add uh, uh, the, and, and the case, so he doesn't uh, include the case. Another three bucks uh, for the case and for the other hardware, probably another three dollars. So we're looking at uh, 16 dollars and uh, a lot of sweat equity uh, went in the building this sucker. It is kind of nice, uh, you know, it's got a, uh, an LED light on it and everything like that and uh, attenuation switch. But uh, I don't necessarily recommend it unless you really feel like building something. And this is by Bionix. The next one I'm going to show you is also by Bionix. And uh, right now I'm in love with this one uh, for a couple of reasons. Uh, this is a great attenuator. Uh, it's not based on this circuit board. He made a completely new circuit board here. He uh, 3D prints the case and this mount which fits on half inch PVC and I'm going to show an update to the antenna construct video on how to use that. Um, the only thing I don't like, I wish they would put SO239s on all these things which would make easier connection uh, and stronger connection but uh, to tell you honest truth uh, that takes a, a bigger case uh, to get those in here and uh, I'd rather have, well maybe we'll just go with uh, the smaller thing and not argue about it. Uh, this has a built-in battery. Uh, you change the battery on it's a 9-volt cell. Got to remove the screws and take the front panel off. This works great. Uh, it'll be mounted on the antenna itself. And uh, this comes two ways. He's going to sell it as a complete kit for $31 or built here for $37. He didn't have any kits. I got this one built for $37 plus shipping, uh, uh, this is really and truly a buy. So I'm liking this uh, a lot. Last but not least, uh, this is by uh, Aero Antennas, guys who make the satellite antennas and do a lot of fox hunt antennas. And uh, this is a really, really good anten uh, attenuator. Uh, it has uh, the uh, attenuation control is also on and off. It does not have a light on it, uh, an LED on it, which eh. Uh, not, not a big deal. I suppose you could put one in if you wanted to. But um, this one also uh, uh, has a 3202 uh, little uh, watch battery in there. And uh, it lasts quite a long time. Uh, I put some thumb screws on here to make it easy to get the whole case off in the field uh, to change out batteries. But this is also a terrific attenuator. But this uh, from Ham Radio Outlet is, I think, uh, $60. Uh, you can get it from the, for the same price from Arrow, but Ham Radio out, out will ship it to you the same day. Uh, the thing about this is it stacks right on the radio. Uh, it's easy. This one we'd have to mount on the uh, on the PVC. The things I would recommend here: uh, number one is probably going to be this guy here. Uh, price, performance, and uh, it's a class act for. Uh, for $31 or $37, you can't go wrong. Uh, second one I would recommend for the budget conscious, and there's no shame in that, uh, are these guys. Uh, real simple to do. Uh, if you could find maybe one with more attenuation, uh, you want to get somewhere upwards around 80 dBs of attenuation to work uh, well when you're right on top of that fox. But uh, uh, two 30s and a 20 on this would work just fine. And a third, uh, only because of price, I like this guy here. And this is what we originally started with. I own one of these, the club owns one, and this is what we're going to be actually using on the first fox hunt. So that's it. Any questions, let me know. And uh, we will uh, see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Will, salute. 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 Will. Salute, yeah. That's